When you open the sports apparel database, be sure to double click enable content as we've done with our previous databases. You'll notice the sports apparel retailers and states tables with information, fields and data inside them. We're first asked to create one query that will display the total sales of all companies located in Hawaii and the total sales of all companies located in Oregon. In addition to total sales, show the smallest and largest sale in each state. We create query design. We add our sports apparel retailers table. We take out state. We take out total sales. However, we need that three times. For our state, within the criteria section, we do quotes, HI, close quotes, or quotes, O, R, close quote, for Hawaii and Oregon. We then need to select our totals row. For state, we group by. For our total sales picks, first we need sum, then we need max, then we need min, because we're asked for total sales of these two states, as well as their smallest and largest sales. We run our query. We can make our columns a little wider to show our numbers. You'll see the sum for each state, the max, and the min. We then save our query as homework 7A-1 as instructed. And we move on to our next query. We're asked to create a query that will display the number of companies located in each zip code. Display the zip code and the number of companies. Sort by zip code. Call the query homework 7A2. Query design. We again need our sports apparel retailers table. We need our zip code. We need our company name, and for zip code, we want to sort in ascending fashion. We need to select our totals to populate our total row. We want to have zip code group by. And we want to have our company name be counted to determine how many companies there are in each zip code. We run and we notice the number of companies in each of our zip code. We save our query as homework 7A-2 as instructed. Our next query says create a query that will display the average number of orders for each city within each state. Display the state, city, and average number of orders. We select query design. We again select our sports apparel retailers table. We need to show our city. We need to show our state. We need to show our number of orders. We then select our totals to populate our total row. We keep city and state as group by. However, we need number of orders 
to be AVG, our average. We run this query. We notice that there are some numbers here that do not fit. We go back into our design view. We go to our property sheet. We format as general number and we run our query again. We may still have this issue. So we change the size of our average number. We go back into design view, into our property sheet again for number of orders. We change decimal places to zero or let's do it two, just to see our average in the most efficient way. We close our property sheet. We run We notice we are not getting our two decimals. We click back in. Let's try standard for our format. Let's run again. And now we have our two decimal places. We save our query as homework 7a-3 as instructed. And finally, we're asked to create a query that will display the total number of orders for all of the companies. Call the query 7a-4. Create query design. We again need our sports apparel retailers table. We need our number of orders. We make sure that it shows. We then select our totals to get our totals row. And instead of group by, we select sum. We run our query and we have the total of our orders. We save this query as homework 7A-4 as instructed. We close out our queries. We close out our table and submit.